Hi, I'm Lori Hines. Welcome back to A Taste of Israel. This is episode number 10, and I have a very special guest with me here. Hi, Hi we have Jamie Geller here with us today. Yay, Hi, we're guys. so excited. So Jamie Geller, we are, here we are in Jerusalem yes. at the beautiful Walter Pastoria Hotel. Yes. And you're joining me today to do a little chatting about what's going on with you, right? Yes. Okay, so you know Jamie Geller is jamiegeller.com. And she's the author of many cookbooks, many projects going on, some exciting news coming up. And so I'm here with her today to, for her to share her story with us about, I wanted to hear from you about a couple of things. Okay. One is your story of how you got to Israel, because you're from New York. Yeah. You're a New York yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then I also want to hear from you about your business, what's going on with jamiegeller.com. Okay. And then, you know, tell us a little bit about food and how cooking has changed your life, okay. if it has. Sure. And maybe a little bit about some spiritual components there, if there is any. Okay, how much time do you have? Oh, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's a lot. So. I know. We'll just hit the highlights. Okay, great. Okay. okay, so tell us about from New York to Jerusalem. How'd that go? Um, basically, it was always my husband's dream to move to Israel, and I think I was telling you before off camera, I love Israel, I'd like mm. to support Israel, I'd like to visit Israel, but I never wanted to live here. It mm. felt like such a hard, difficult, foreign life, mm. um, but the Jewish soul always yearns to return to its homeland, mm. and, you know, I think I knew, um, in, like, emotionally that I wanted to be here, but mentally it was a hard idea to wrap my head around. So it took a few years and like water on a rock, he worked on me. <laughs> and next thing you know, we make, we were making Aliyah, which is the Hebrew term for uh, Jewish people that are returning to Israel to live and make it their um, their official, you know, um, place of uh, place to live, okay. you know, full time uh, place to live. And we came with our five children, five children from New York about almost six years ago, uh, and our sixth child was born here. Congratulations. Yes. What a story. Yeah. What a story. Well, tell us about, isn't there something special about this particular hotel that we're sitting in? Oh, the Waldorf yeah. Astoria. Tell us quickly about okay, the Okay, quickly. So my husband and I got engaged yeah. in the Waldorf Astoria in New York, and it was always our getaway for birthdays and anniversaries. And like I said, I never wanted to move here, right. but we often visited. So right. we came yeah. on a family trip here, and we were going into the old city, going to the Western Wall, you know, to pray at the Kotel, through the Jaffa Gate, um, and we see a big sign. Waldorf Astoria, Jerusalem, coming soon. Ooh. So my hubby said, if the Waldorf is coming, Jamie, so can you. <laughs> so that's how we got here. So that's amazing. Yeah. That's an amazing story. And this is an amazing hotel. Oh, it's I incredible. I can see why you it's love incredible. this place. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Welcome. Okay, so you, thank you. Mm -hmm. You were married, you got married, and somewhere in the line of that timeline of your life, you uh, started cooking, right? Yeah. I think. So tell Well, me basically, more. my husband said, what's for dinner? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. I use my oven for storage in Manhattan. I was a TV producer, okay. living in Manhattan, never cooked. I wasn't raised to be um, barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. I was raised to be a CEO of some Fortune 500 company, ah. a doctor, a lawyer, anything but, you know, a happy homemaker. And um, wow. and suddenly he's like wanted to eat. And not just that, <laughs> but he wanted to invite his friends over and his family over. Oh. You know, I became religious later in life. Okay. And when I married him, so one of the things that's part of being religious is the weekly Shabbat ah. and enjoying these big feasts, which are essentially like Thanksgiving every week wow. with all of your friends and family wow. and the neighbors. And maybe some people you don't even know you invite strangers, people you meet. So wow, beautiful. I had to suddenly learn how not just to cook, but to cook and entertain oh. like, you know, the best of them. Oh, wow. So I learned on the job. <laughs> okay. Yeah. On the job training. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the best job. way, right? Yes, you can study is. anything until so, so you get there. It's that's like, so true. Yeah. That is so true. That's amazing. Yeah. So, and now you're cooking and not only did you learn to cook and entertain, but you became huh. jamiegeller.com, right. cookbook author, lifestyle, you know, yeah. um, guru. And now you really are leading the path in wonderful food and just joyful living. I follow you. you on social media. Thank you. Thank you, you really are so inspiring. Thank really, you. I truly mean that. I Thank mean, I told you that off camera too. Yeah, so, yeah, totally. You know, it's the truth. I mean, it's true, yeah. So, um, okay, so we know that cooking has changed your life. Yeah. So since then, um, what are some things that you've done? Tell us about your cookbook. Which ones have you sure. done? Um, I've written four cookbooks, okay. and my latest one is Brisket 101. Wow. And it was the number one Amazon bestseller in cooking and entertaining. Congratulations. So that was very, That's very so exciting. exciting. Yeah. Um, we have this website, jamiegeller.com, and we okay. put fresh content on it almost every single day. Wow. Recipes, videos, articles. We have over 8,000. 
thousand recipes on jvyellow.com yeah. and many of them have how-to videos along with them because I feel like people either like the videos because they're learning yes. or they like to be entertained while they're cooking That's and just see something practically happening. It makes it so much easier to bring the recipe to life. Right, wonderful. So we have a healthy family meal plan oh. called Fresh Families. Oh, okay. You can find that at freshfamilies.us or you can navigate to it from jamiegeller.com. Okay. And that's just shopping lists, weekly menus, nutritional breakdowns, but like healthy family meals that the kids will like too. That's so important. Because often when you're trying to get healthy, it's like, oh, you cook something different for yourself right. than you do for the rest of the family. Yes, so true. It's one of those all-inclusive kind of just lifestyles, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. not a diet. Wonderful. I love yeah. that. Such a needed thing for busy people. Yeah, you for know? sure. It's wonderful. Good. And all of the recipes that we do are inspired by Israel. Oh, this is what yeah. I love. Now, this is my heart. Segway yes. to Taste of Israel. Yes. <laughs> I'm yes. here for you, girl. That's why I'm here, too. Mm. I'm here doing a food and wine tour with the Taste so of Israel, exciting. my business. Yes, very exciting. Food and wine is amazing here. What are you going to hit on the tour? So we're going to um, start in Tel Aviv. Great. And we're going to, uh, of course, do a sunset dinner on the Mediterranean. Yeah. My favorite of restaurant, course. Manta Ray. Yes. Right. And then we're going to go up the coast. And then we're going to go over to the Galilee and the Golan. We'll visit the Golan Heights Winery. Amazing. We'll take them to my favorite uh, call it a cowboy steakhouse it's um next to a ranch yeah um near tiberius yeah and they have the best food best steaks and right. they have a burger on the menu called the texas burger oh <laughs> that's for you is it that's the, for me and it tastes like a texas burger it does it was delicious it was huge so too yeah it will come down and we'll spend the rest of our time here in jerusalem right and we'll go and see chef moshe hassan oh amazing so yes. special yes yeah, so we'll do the shook and yeah. we'll do cooking class. I have a special treat uh, for my guests for a cooking class. Wow, yeah. I want to go on this Come tour. On. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have fun. I'm looking forward to that. But while I'm here, this is the thing. is There's so many amazing people like yourself you. and chefs and food product, uh, producers and food technology yes. coming out of Israel that it is mind-blowing. Yes. And we kind of talked about that yeah. uh, briefly. Uh, you know, so this is what I want people to see. I want people to see there's so much here sure. that there's no place like Israel, no including place. the food and wine. Yeah, including. It has become a culinary destination. Yes. And you're starting in the heart of it in terms of Tel Aviv, and you're ending in the soul of it, which That's, is Jerusalem. Yes, that's what I said. You know? You know, yes, we start in Tel Aviv, and our heart and soul into yes. Jerusalem. So yeah. we're excited about it. Thank Great. you. So the last thing I want to um, visit with you about is, speaking of that heart and soul, in your opinion, talk a little bit about Maybe, does food have an element of spirituality to it? I mean, it does. <laughs> of course it does. She already knew the so answer. Yeah, I did, I did. So, basically, if you are not open to these kinds of things, you see food as a physical thing. You need it for sustenance in order to, to exist, right? Food, right. water. Right. But, really, if you go back to the Bible and you trace the roots, food is being used for cultural and religious celebrations, and specifically in Israel, and especially living a Jewish lifestyle like I do, be blessed, right? And many yes. other religions, you bless before you eat, you bless after you eat. Yes. And you elevate the physicality to yes. a spiritual level. And then it becomes food for the soul. Uh, and then it, a whole different meaning. Yes. So if food is your love and your passion, your creativity, you shouldn't think that you're only wrapped up in the physicality. There's such an underlying element of spirituality and soulfulness yes. to food. And just think about it as a, as a mother or as a wife or as an entertainer yes. or as a hostess. How do we feel when we serve, uh, when we entertain? It elevates us. Yeah, it, it's everything. It inspires us. It and it builds us. Yes, and you create an atmosphere yes. for people. Memories yes. to last a lifetime are yes. made around a holiday table or a dinner table yes. or an anniversary celebration or a birthday. Yes. It, food is the vehicle that gets us there. Mm -hmm. And so it's important, especially here. You're now one of the holiest places in the world. Yes. This is the place where food means so much more than just food. I agree. From the time of Abraham yeah. to today, we are all still enjoying the yeah. food and on many levels yes. so i totally agree with you thank you for your insight oh, it's very special yes awesome. so thank you for joining us guys today it was so fun to interview you jamie thank you thank for your you. time thank guys you. don't forget to follow her on this tell us all your channels and jamiegeller.com you, you can do it on the website yep. on social media instagram facebook twitter youtube everything is just jamiegeller.com Okay, wonderful. Well, we look forward to seeing what you have coming up in Thank the future because I know you've got some projects Thank in the works. Thank you, and yeah. I'll be following you, and I want to okay. see you're going to be videoing this culinary tour. Yep, yep, we'll be on Can't Instagram wait. and Facebook. Okay. Yeah, so follow us there too. Great. Okay, thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Okay, take care. Bye, Bye guys.